Let's learn to solve a Sunday puzzle by NPR. Uh, this is from December 23rd, 2010. The problem is here. What two world capitals can be found by rearranging the letters in the phrase serial number? So basically, make an anagram of serial number, these words, uh, these letters, and then you will spell two world capitals. How do we do that? Well, here's the copy of the problem. First, you have to see if you can get the world's capitals easily. So I will run the uh, country data and see if they have the world capitals for us, the capital city. And if you look carefully, here's capital city. So you can get it. So I will erase the... Uh, hide the output. So I will get the country's names first. I will call it all countries. And I got all these countries here. I will hide the output. And by using all those countries, I will visit every one of them and look for the capital city's name of that country and assign those capital city's names to this variable, country to capital. When I do that, I get all these capital names. And that's all stored in country to capital. I will hide the output. Okay, then what do I do? Well, I will make sure that the this letters can be all be found in the capital letter. In other words, I should say this way. That is every letter. Now let me show the output again here. So I have this one here, T Rana. Now, can I spell Tirana with the um words in serial number? I don't have a T, so I would not be able to spell it, right? So I will pick the city names that I could spell with serial number. So I got so many, I'm trying to reduce the size of it by excluding things, uh, the cities that would never make it. So when I run that, and here I got all this city name, the capital names that could be spelled using only these letters. Okay, let me show you what I just did here though. See, capital letters, the first letters are capital, uppercase I meant, and uh, the others are lowercase. So what I, but this one I used all lowercase. So how should I know which letter will come up capital, which one will come out lower? So what I did is, um, that what I meant is would E be capital, would R be capital, I mean uppercase, would I be uppercase, and all those. I cannot tell, because it could come, in this case, H was cap, uh, uppercase, in this case, V was uppercase, and and if they have it, I have to match the upper and lower. So what I do is that I turn everything to uppercase. And same thing for the capital city's names. I will turn to the uppercase and see if I can find every letter in the uh, capital city's name, uppercase, belongs to one of these in uppercase. And if that happens, then um, I select them and I keep them. Okay. So um, what I mean this by this is the complement is the missing ones are less than one. So there are no missing letters in here. So no matter which letter you pick here, you will be find you will be able to find it in one of these letters. So there are no missing letters, and these names have no missing letters. For example, if you take Sana in Yemen, S A N A, you will be able to find S A N A. So you will be able to spell it and so on. Okay, so these are the ones, but unfortunately, we got to combine two of them to match serial number, the, all the letters in serial number. So let's combine them. But before we combine them, uh, we don't want to carry all these country names together. We will just pick the uh, city names only. So I will extract the first parameter, first element out of the whole list. There's the whole list. This one means I'm picking the first one. Of, the, of each one. Pound means each one. I got so many cities and countries of them. I will go to each one and pick the first one only. So when I do that, I get all these city names that can be spelled with letters inside serial number. Okay, now I have to put two cities together. So I will come up with every possible way of putting these two together. That's called permutations. When I do that, I got all these. But I have to put them into a single word, you see? The original problem said, what did it say? It says, can be found by arranging letters in phrase serial number. What world, uh, world capitals can be found? What two world capitals can be found? So you got to have all two world's capitals characters, letters in one word. So I got to combine them all. 
So we got to pick two of them. So these are two ways to pick. I mean, there are every way to pick two of them, but you got to make them into single words. So what I will do is that I will say, uh, I assigned this to a variable called combo. So combo has a combination of two capital cities names that every element in combo will have. This is one element in combo. So I will say the first guy and the second guy will be put together. So this means the first guy, this means the second guy, and this means will be put together and do that for every one of them. For this one, this one, this one, that's what the pound means. So when you do that, indeed, I combined two of them all together. So you see every possible way of combining these names are here. Okay, now, which ones can be spelled with serial number? So this time I'm going to make sure that every letter here, that is every letter here is found here. It is different from the other one. For example, Sana, Lima, Yes, I can find S here, I can find A here, I can find N here, and so on. But you see, I would not be able to spell this by rearranging this because it's got too many here. So this time, I got too many letters. This is too short. So how can I make sure that this is the uh, result of re rearrangement of this? What I have to do is that I have to check the other way. Is every letter here found there? For example, I have letter B here. This one doesn't have it. So, no go. I got to be able to find every one of them, that every one of these letters in these combined names. So, for example, um, A, M. Okay, I got this M here, but it's not found in here. So, this is disqualified. So, I will make sure, to, are, are all these in your names? That's what I'm asking. So, there should be less than one discrepancy. In other words, have no discrepancy. So that's what I'm checking here. And when I do that, I got these names here. So Brussels, Manila, every letter in here can be found there. And Berlin, Maseru, or Maseru, Berlin, you can find every letter in serial number in here. So we got two possible answers here. I mean, these two are the same thing, two city names, whether you say it's an A and B or B and A, those are two cities. But here, uh, can both of them make it? So what I will do is that to see to check to to check if these two anagrams are the same indeed. What I will do is I will spell out this and sort it in alphabetical order. When I do this, and you will realize the serial number is made of these letters. What about this Berlin Maseru? When I do this here, you see it's made of those letters. By sorting, it makes it a lot clearer for us to see. So the question is: Is this set? the same as this. Well, this is small enough that you can eyeball it and say, yeah, they are the same. But what if this is million characters long? You would not be able to do that. You would have to ask Mathematica, are they the same? So are, is T1 double equal T2? That's how you ask it. And it says true. So this Berlin Maseru is the answer. What about the other guy here, Brussels Manila? Let's check. If I spell out, in, in uh, alphabetical order, it's made of these. So compared to the serial number, which is made of A, B, E, E, this one is A, A, B, E. So this is lacking. This has too many A's compared to this. So therefore it doesn't work. In fact, you can ask Mathematica, is T1, which is the alphabetical order of serial number, the same as T3, which is the alphabetical order of Brussels Manila? If you ask it, it will say no. So therefore, only these two are the same. So that's the uh, Berlin Maseru. So that is the, the Berlin and Maseru are the answers to this question.